my name is Catherine. Today, I would like to share my internship experience at RBC as a market risk analyst for the commodity team. Um, in this presentation, I will give you an overview on what the commodity team is responsible for and what are my core duties as an intern. So basically, the commodity market risk team defines the limit framework and oversees the risk environment regarding RBC's commodities trading activities. Um, there are three main commodity business lines, um, energy, metals, and commodity index products. The energy line includes oil and refined products, natural gas, power, carbon, and agricultural commodities, while the metal lines increase, uh, includes precious metals and base metals. Each desk has their own unique characteristic and trading uh, strategy. For example, the carbon desk primarily operates in three programs, EU ETS, WCI, and RGGI. Each program has a cap which refers to the total amount of certain greenhouse gases that can be admitted by installation. Within the caps, um, the company receives buy and trade allowance with one and another. Um, another thing is my daily routine is to run some risk reports. Uh, monitor the enterprise risk chains versus the market chain, identify and investigate the cost if there is any uh, abnormal chance or breaches occur. Um, the risk exposure is ma mainly measured in terms of bar. And then what we have learned in class, in practice, the banks estimate the bar using the historical simulation methodology. And this approach is agnostic when it comes to the distributional assumptions. Under this approach, the VAR is estimated by creating a hypothetical time series of PNL based on the historical data. For example, the 99% VAR over a 500 day period is calculated by picking the top product of short vector and the position to get the PNLs. Then we arrange the PNLs in ascending order, and the sixth scenario is our 99% VAR. Generally speaking, the day over day change in war is mainly causing by two factors, position and shot. For example, the when the desk is making new position or when there is a level or slope change in shot vector, war will be affected. Some logic applies to the S war, which is we mimic a series of extreme circumstances. Um, for example, the global financial crisis in 2008 to get the shot vector and calculate the PNLs. Um, except for this, on the side, I also have a few projects during uh, the internship, which is using Pybomb and VBA, um, which includes limit report modification, time series analysis on the carbon allowance market, and war investigation. Um, that's pretty much for my sharing. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Catherine. Uh, Catherine's supervisor at RBC was Ankit Chaudhry who uh, is not able to join us today. But he did say this about Catherine's time at RBC, and I, and I quote, Catherine has a strong work ethic and is very good with analytics. She stayed on top of things during a difficult time. She takes initiative, and when we give her a problem to solve, she solves it with accountability. We've had a great time with her here and she clearly has the acumen to pursue a successful career path as a risk analyst. She is on my recommendation list. So that's very good, Catherine, very impressive. Now we move to the q and If you have a question, uh, please use the raise hand button in the reactions tab. Turn on your camera and unmute your mic. We'll bring you on stage to ask your question. You can also type your question into the chat and Michael will read it to us. My question to you, Catherine, is uh, please tell us some of the pros and cons of using historical simulation uh, as a way to compute a bar as compared to Monte Carlo. Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, I think the main advantage of using historical simulation method is that it does not make any conclusion on changes in risk factor coming from a specific distribution. Um, also, I think the model is very easy to implement when historical data is available. Um, however, some disadvantage may improve. Um, it may not be enough historical data for all assets. 
and the time variation of risk in the past may not represent the one in the future. Yeah, that's my answer. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.